Compound inequalities. Let's talk about how to finish him. In these, you're going to solve graph write in interval notation, usually. All right, fine. I have two cases. I have two cases, the AND case and the OR case. On the graph, if your connecting word in your compound inequality is AND, then you're looking for the overlap, where they both exist at the same time. If it's or, then it's everywhere. You need to write down everywhere where you see a shade. Shady. Let's go in our and case first. In our and case, here I have x is smaller than or equal to two. Okay, and x is smaller than or equal to three. Okay, so on two, oh, which way are you gonna shade? Are you gonna shade to the window or to the wall? There is literally, li a window right there. Uh huh. I'm gonna shade the way the arrow goes. As long as the X is on the left. As long as the X is on the left. And this is closed because of the or equals two. On the X is equal to three. T he. I need to shade also to the left. To the left. Okay. And then this one is round on this side because. It doesn't have an or equal to. Now, is this the and case or is it the or case? It's the and case. Because it's the and case, I'm looking for where they overlap. They see overlap right here from 2 to minus infinity. Or the other way, because it's an ordered interval from minus infinity to 2 and including 2. There you go. Done. Uh huh. Next one. X is bigger than 2, I'm going to shade to the right, to the right, and it's open, open, open. As long as the x is on the left, it goes the way the arrow goes. Here the x is on the left, so it's going to go the way the arrow goes. Yeah. Um, good times. Now where did those guys overlap? Yes. They overlap from 2 to Three, tee he, tee he. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Next one. Um, on the two, I'm gonna shade to the left, to the left. Yeah, and on the three. Ooh, looks like we're gonna include it also. I'm gonna shade to the right, to the right. This is the and case. Where do those overlap? They never overlap. This is no solution. Hmm. In your case, in your case, I'm looking for wherever it's shaded and that's what I'm going to write down. Here, on the two. Looks like I'm going to include it with a squarey and I'm shading to the left. Over here, on the three, it appears I'm not going to include it, and I'm shading left. Now, this is the or case, so it's everywhere where it's shaded. I could write down two, or two to minus infinity to two, or minus infinity to three, but that would be redundant. That would be redundant. That would be redundant. You'd be repeating this interval twice. So to get them both in the same interval, I'm gonna write, uh-huh, from minus infinity, all the way to three, because that's where it's shaded. Over here, on the two, it appears I will be shading in blue. To the right, to the right, I can shade the way the arrow goes, as long as the X is on the left. A more appropriate way to do it would be to test a point, hey, but this works. Yes, on this three, see, I shade this way. Okay, so now I'm in the OR case. I need to write down everywhere where it's shaded. And yes, the whole dang thing is shaded in some way or another, but this is double shaded. Don't double count it. I'm going to write down minus infinity all the way up to and including infinity. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, one last one in the OR case. I'm looking down here at two. It appears in blue. I shade to the left, 
to the left, and then, and then, and then, on the three. I'm gonna shade to the right, to the right. Ooh, closed on the three. Very nice. So now I need to write down everywhere where it's shaded. It's shaded from minus infinity up to two. Ooh, it doesn't include two and you never include infinity. And then I need to onion it up, yes, to a closed three all the way to infinity. Open that and that's done here. Oh, that's done here. Oh, that's done here. Oh. Five. Six flowers. More flowers, more fun. Thank you.